Well, I remember uh, Barry uh, being the most inquisitive person in class. I think we had two classes together in the political science department, and he always had a, a question for everything that was brought up, and he always liked to keep stay after, if you will, after the bell, after class was over, uh, asking more and more questions. Um, that was simply his nature. You would never know it from his campaign biography, but Barack Obama spent two years at Occidental College, a small liberal arts school in Los Angeles, before heading off to the Ivy League. His growth during those two years was crucial to his development as a political candidate, as a man, and as a thinker. Friends fondly recall chewing on the issues of the day while hanging out at their dorm, Haynes Hall, and at Casa Bianca, an off-campus pizza joint that he loved. Obama also stood out for his basketball skills. Brief experience on the basketball court, I would say that Obama is clearly a team player as opposed to a ball bouncer, bouncer ball hog who doesn't know that he's playing with anybody else. He's a team player, and I think uh, at his level of politics, you've got to be to be effective. Occidental in those days was a buzz with political and social activism. Obama, however, struck a relatively low profile early in his college career. Uh, Oxy was a pretty liberal school. Uh, during those days, a lot of protests, uh, anti-investment uh, activities, uh, rallies, etc., against South Africa, African famine, uh, Mexican-American Legal Defense Fund uh, activities. Um, Barack pretty much was quiet, kept to himself, uh, had a reputation of being a very uh, intelligent student, but wasn't really that active in any of the uh, extracurricular activities as far as I saw from either sports or campus rallies or soapbox speeches. If Obama had been somewhat rudderless when he arrived on campus, he gained a sense of direction his sophomore year when he joined a student campaign to push the college to divest from South Africa on account of the apartheid policies of its white minority government. That group of students remains, in my mind, uh, one of the most serious uh, groups of students to have gone through Occidental College. Uh, the divestment, the, the divestment movement was to the 70s and 80s what civil rights, the anti-war movement, and the women's movement were for the 1960s. And uh, I, I predicted great things for that group of students uh, simply based on their moral commitment and their political commitments, and it's good to see that coming to fruition. Obama made a conscious decision while at Occidental to accelerate his maturation and intellectual growth. Yearning for a more urban environment, he engineered a transfer to Columbia. Still, Occidental played an important role in Obama's transformation into who he is today. It is, after all, where he says he first got his calling for politics and public service. He told the Los Angeles Times last year, quote, Those first two years really helped me grow up. This is Scott Hellman with the Boston Globe.